Welcome to the channel. Join us as we delve into the darkest corners of the human experience, sharing spine-tingling true stories that will leave you breathless. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of terror. Get ready to be chilled to the bone as we embark on this spine-tingling journey together. It was just another night shift for me at the 24-hour convenience store on the outskirts of town. I had been working there for a couple of months, and I found the night shifts to be mostly uneventful. The store didn't see much traffic at night, with only a handful of customers coming in to buy snacks, cigarettes, or gas. Little did I know that this seemingly ordinary night would take a sinister turn. As I restocked the shelves and cleaned up around the store, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The air felt heavy, and an uneasy silence seemed to blanket the area. I brushed it off as my imagination ran wild, but deep down, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was about to happen. At around 2am, a man walked into the store. He was wearing a hoodie that partially obscured his face, and his hands were shoved deep into his pockets. Right away, I noticed that he was acting strangely. He wandered around the store aimlessly, constantly glancing over his shoulder and avoiding eye contact with me. It seemed as though he was nervous about something or someone. The man spent an unusually long time browsing the aisles, but never picked up any items. His strange behavior only heightened my sense of unease, and I couldn't help but watch him out of the corner of my eye. I tried to focus on my work, but the nagging feeling that something was wrong persisted. I decided to ask the man if he needed any help hoping that maybe he was just lost or confused. As I approached him, he quickly turned away, avoiding any interaction. His sudden move and evasiveness sent a shiver down my spine, and I couldn't shake the feeling that he was up to something sinister. My instincts told me to keep an eye on him, but I had no idea what I was dealing with or what danger might be lurking in the shadows of the convenience store that night. As the man continued to wander the store, I knew that the quiet night I had anticipated was anything but ordinary, and I braced myself for the terrifying encounter that was about to unfold. As the strange man finally approached the counter with a single item, I couldn't help but feel a chill run down my spine. His eyes were fixed on the floor, and he seemed to be avoiding any direct contact with me. I tried to maintain a professional demeanor, but my heart raced with unease. As I rang up his purchase, I noticed his hand was gripping something in his pocket. My instinct screamed at me that something was very wrong, and I couldn't ignore the sense of impending danger. I quickly completed the transaction, handed him his change, and watched as he turned to leave the store. I thought that would be the end of the bizarre encounter, but instead of driving away, the man just stood near his car, watching the store intensely. His unnerving gaze sent shivers down my spine, I couldn't help but feel like I was being hunted. I tried to go about my work, hoping that he would eventually leave, but every time I glanced out the window, he was still there, his eyes locked onto the store. The once quiet and uneventful night shift had turned into a nightmare, and I knew I needed to do something before the situation escalated any further. As I tried to think of a way to handle this terrifying situation, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was trapped in a horror story with danger lurking just outside the door. With every passing minute, the tension grew, and I braced myself for the terrifying climax that was about to unfold. Feeling increasingly alarmed by the man's persistent presence, I decided it was time to call my manager to inform them of the situation. I quickly dialed their number, but the call went straight to voicemail. My heart sank, and I knew I was on my own in dealing with this dangerous situation. Before I could even think of another plan, the man suddenly burst back into the store, this time brandishing a knife and demanding that I open the cash register. His eyes were wild, and I could see the desperation on his face. I felt my blood run cold as I realized the severity of the situation I was now in. In a split-second decision, I knew I had to act quickly to protect myself. I reached under the counter and hit the store's panic button causing a loud alarm to blare throughout the store. The man flinched at the sudden noise. I took that moment of distraction as my chance to escape. 
I sprinted towards the back door, my heart pounding in my chest as I heard the man yelling and the sound of his footsteps growing closer behind me. My entire body was fueled by adrenaline and I knew that I couldn't afford to slow down or hesitate for even a moment. As I reached the back door and burst out into the night, I knew that the terrifying confrontation was far from over and I would have to rely on my wits and courage to survive this nightmare encounter. The man chased me through the store, his footsteps echoing behind me as I desperately tried to put distance between us. I narrowly avoided being caught, ducking behind shelves and dodging around corners as I frantically searched for a hiding place. In my panic, I managed to find a small storage closet near the back of the store. I quickly slipped inside and locked the door behind me, my heart pounding in my chest. I pulled out my phone, hands shaking, and dialed 911, whispering the details of my situation to the operator and hoping against hope that the police would arrive before the man found me. As I huddled in the darkness of the storage closet, I could hear the man's footsteps growing closer, each thud echoing through the store and sending shivers down my spine. I held my breath, silently praying that help would arrive in time. To my immense relief, the sound of sirens in the distance signaled the arrival of the police. I could hear the man cursing and the commotion outside the closet as the officers apprehended him. They managed to capture him before he could discover my hiding place, and I finally let out the breath I've been holding. Once it was safe, I emerged from the storage closet, shaken but unharmed. I later learned that the man had a history of violence and criminal behavior, making me realize just how lucky I was to have escaped unscathed. The experience left me deeply shaken, but I was grateful for my quick thinking and the timely intervention of law enforcement. Unable to forget the terrifying night shift encounter, I eventually found a new job, seeking the comfort of daylight in the company of others. That fateful night will forever be etched in my memory, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk just beneath the surface of an ordinary shift. Thank you for venturing into the darkness with us. If you've survived the terror and want more, make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, sleep tight, and remember, some nightmares are too real.